All right, class, let's talk about our next topic, medieval empires, the Latin West. How did Latin Christianity help strengthen Europe to deal with outside invaders? Uh, the birth of the Latin Christendom, uh, the old Roman Empire was broken up and smaller kingdoms were formed with the help of Christianity. So Christianity was kind of a unif uh, unifying uh, theme uh, throughout Europe during the 6 and 700s. Uh, you had some kingdoms, Anglo-Saxon England, Frankish Gaul, Visigoths and the Spains, Lombard Italy, German states, uh, and eventually Ireland. Uh, Latin Christian law was able to write, uh, I'm sorry, unite many re regions throughout Europe. Now the spread of Christianity in Europe, the papacy grows stronger in Europe. So as uh, Christianity began to spread, especially up into northern Europe, uh, the Pope became much more influential. Gregory the Great from 590 to 604 was able to unite many kingdoms. The monastic life followed Benedict's rule, more intellectual than others in Europe. Uh, they oftentimes had small libraries and a scriptorium to copy books. This was before the printing press and all books had to be copied by hand. The most popular, of course, was the Bible. It might take two, up to two years to hand write and copy the Bible. The Carolinians, Pepin the Short, uh, brought all the Frankish kingdoms together. Charlemagne was his son. He ruled from 768 to 814. Uh, ironically, he was not short uh, for a man at this time in the uh, 700s, 800s. Uh, he was about six foot four, uh, and a lot of people thought he was like a giant. He was very tall. Uh, he ruled the Frankish kingdom. Uh, on December 25th, in the year 800, Charlemagne was crowned emperor by Pope Leo III. Uh, Carolinian rule took up uh, present-day France, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Northern Italy. It was a huge section of Europe. Uh, this was the first time Europe had been united since the Roman Empire, Carolinian Renaissance. Uh, revival of Greek, Latin, math, law, religion, canon law, art, architecture, all of these things, once there was a Frankish kingdom uh, was created, all of these things could then uh, be instituted and there was a revival of a lot of these arts during this time. Now the invasion and um, recovery of Latin West, the Magars invaded Eastern Europe, the Islamics, uh, religion, uh, invasion from the south through the Mediterranean. The Vikings are by far the most harmful and they were from the north. So we had an invasion going on in Europe that uh, took place and threatened a lot of what was going on in Europe. The attacks by the Vikings precipitated or caused feudalism. Feudalism is the system of a vassal where a lord gives a fee for land to a knight with serfs in return for protection. Uh, this was a government system. It was uh, a, a new system in Europe uh, and one that, like I said, was precipitated or uh, was caused by uh, the attacks by the Vikings. This system of government ruled Europe for hundreds of years in the Middle Ages. Now, the Crusades, first started by Pope Urban II, declares the first Crusades to retake the Holy Land from the Muslims. Uh, the Muslims uh, remember our, from our last video, had started in uh, the year 632 by Muhammad. Uh, they quickly spread through North Africa and then north into what is present day Israel, the Holy Land, uh, Syria, and then on up into the Balkan region. While this was taking place, people in Europe started getting a little freaked out and they deemed that it was necessary for Europe, Christian Europeans to go down to the Holy Land to take it back from the Muslims. Um, this was an arduous task. A, a lot of times they walked there and it would take years and an entire towns would just get up and move and they would walk for a couple years till they got down to uh, Jerusalem or other uh, areas in uh, present day Israel and they would fight uh, these huge battles that lasted years. Um, <clears throat> the first crusade was very successful and ruled the Holy Land for around a hundred uh, years. Uh, there were many other crusades, but none as successful as the first. Uh, after the first crusade and a hundred years had rolled by, um, there were uh, other uh, Islamic or Muslim or Turkish people that came in and attacked the Christians, kicked them out, so then there was a need for another crusade and another and another. 
uh, in, in there must have been uh, eight to twelve crusades at uh, there were some very major ones, but there were also minor ones, eight to twelve different crusades going down to the to the Holy Land. The Crusades expanded trade and economic contacts in the Middle East. Italian cities such as Genoa, Pisa, and Venice become very powerful city-states from the trade. Uh, so the Crusades opened up the Mediterranean in a way that uh, it was kind of closed during, during the time of Charlemagne. All right, history's no mystery. Take good notes.